You're, you're in a show called Reese that's going to be coming to space in, in the next year. Yeah, that's right. What can you tell us about Reese? Oh. Since it hasn't even debuted in Canada yet, it was a webisode, uh, I know, initially. It was webisodes, and they, they did show some F some of those on YouTube for a while, but now th they've all changed. They're all, they've are all they been recut, re-edited, and Amanda Tapping uh, now narrates the episodes. And, uh, yeah, the, the, it's, it's like, Reese has been described, I think the best way to describe it is like a, it's a, like a, a dystopian fairy tale. It's a fairy tale for grown-ups. It's a steampunk-inspired show. Uh, so all the costumes and the set design are really incredible. And it's about a lone wanderer called Reese, who is the rightful heir to the throne of Alicia. Uh, her family was uh, murdered by uh, her cousin, the Empress Amara, right. with the help of um, the bad guys, the, uh, this intense religious sort of a cult called uh, the Sect. And uh, I play Rand, who's the leader of the resistance, who's trying to find Reese at, at, at any cost and um, reinstate her uh, as the rightful heir to the throne of Alicia. And uh, Rand has a very uh, dark, secretive past. And he's a, he's a badass, man. He's a, he's a warrior. He's, a, he's like a barbarian and lots of big battle sequences. <laughs> Leather and fur and nice. um, more fur, more fur, and, <laughs> and uh, it's really fun. He, I don't think you could get more different from Henry. Uh, right. And Rand, and Rand is, is hands down one of uh, my all-time favorite characters that I played. Really? So, uh, yeah. I love it. I love that. And those guys are great. I'm really very very proud of them. I'm very proud of the show, and and uh, it's an opportunity for the fans to. Uh, really exercise the, the the power of fandom. Right. You know, watch the shows online, you know, it did very well in the US. With everything being geo-blocked these days, right. there are ways around it. And <laughs> all that, my only request would be if you're in Canada and you found a way to see Greece, um, you know, support it again when yeah. it shows in Canada because that's how the show is gonna get legs. That's how the show Absolutely. is gonna move forward and, and be seen and well we want to see new seasons I mean uh, well, this the, needs the to would be to turn Reese into a television series and, and, and uh, you know we've not been shy about talking about that and and um, you know you know thanks to space for, for you know stepping up and and picking Reese up and, and, and taking it online and be able to watch it on Spacecast uh, in the new year so uh, you know, stay tuned dates will be announced and um, and check it out you know we're, we're all exceptionally proud of it the production value is incredible the show is uh, like nothing you've ever seen and um, and uh, you know let's hope this thing goes because you know everybody on the show worked very very hard and, and um, look we did it with sanctuary without the fans you know we absolutely turned that from a web series into into a series and and uh, we have the greatest most amazing fans in the world and and uh, they showed that with uh, their support for Sanctuary. Sanctuary is still like, an incredibly highly rated television series that shows over 183 countries. And uh, you know our fans, you know we can do that. We can do that again. We can do that with we can do that with Reese. And it's something completely different. It does not, um, it, you know, there's no conflict with anything out there. It's just it's such an incredible show. So. Well, it's unheard of to hear of a steampunk TV series. I mean. It just hasn't been done yet, so it's very cool. Or it hasn't been done well, maybe I should say. But well, it hasn't been done. I don't think a steampunk-inspired uh, series or inspired project has been done with this kind of a production, this right. kind of a production budget. Well, and again, shooting on red cameras, and I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah very and, cool. And just the caliber of um, talent, you know, on, uh, in front of and behind the camera that we we got for this show, it, it, it's it's amazing, you know. We, uh, you know, pulled, they, they pulled in a lot of favors, and it was such an incredible cast that I'm, um, I'm extremely proud to be a part of. And, and uh, you know, the, the creators, the producers, writers have worked, I mean, they've worked tirelessly to, right. to make this project something that, that we would want to see. Because we know that, you know, that, that's what you have to do, and, and, and it's something that the fans would want to see. And they're very, very uh, active with the fans, they're very adamant about having the fans have a say, they listen, um, they participate, they get involved with the fans, they communicate very well, um, and, and that, 
that says a lot for uh, you know how much they respect the fans, and and, uh, and 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 consequently the fans have been incredibly uh, respectful and supportive of us. So. Right. That's cool.